Yo, Poet and Vooj Wanderers, welcome back to one the second, one Which one to eat? Which one to eat? I'll get the, get the Donna gym box, please. Donna, she wants a Donna yeah. gym box. Can I, can I need I... chips, I'm really skinny. I'm probably not going to eat for the rest of this week, so just can, chips and water. Can Enjoy. I get the flaming fries? And he wants flaming fries? Yeah, yeah, flaming fries. Drink as well? Drink as well? Drink as well. Can I get the, I'll get the iron. Chicken beef on me. Yeah, come on. Beef. Well, look, normally, we're filming yeah, outside, but this week it's very, very cold, and German Donna kebab, the greatest kebab restaurant in London said, you know what, you lot, we've seen that you need a place to film. It's quite cold. It's come cold. inside here, come check us. So as sponsored by German Donna Kebab, the restaurant, we're here inside German Donna Kebab. This is crazy, bro. And it feels kind of chill. It does feel really mad no chill. Rules. Yeah, there's no rules. There was a comment a long time ago. There was, ago. and I found and it. you found it. And this is why I think German Donna Kebab got in touch with us as well. Um, Kawal Singh says, I want to see Poet and Vooj go to all the kebab shops in London and eat, talk about football. Hashtag comments under 1,000 likes. And here we are. We deliver, just like him, on the left. We He's coming in. deliver. Ooh. And we're here, banging. And we're gonna get some munch as well. And we're filming inside, but fresh food, kebabs. Who doesn't love a kebab? Forget the intro for what's it. Have you seen these comments? These comments are ridiculous. You lot went absolutely mad last week. Look at this. Rouge isn't gay. He's just homosexual because there are no rules. Homie. Homie. Let me spud you for that comment. I spud, spud him. Aye, a bro. man said homie. Homie sexual. Uh, I want to see Emery sat by Arsenal and Everton signing just to hear him call them Everton. Stock, expo stock sponsorship is gone. Vuji's gone back to wearing his Nan's crepes. We're wearing the Skeptors today. Poet's yes. got the Captain Jacks. Vuji stopped saying we love the miners. Sounds mad. Yeah. Um, I want to tell my kids this is match of the day. There are no rules. Yep. There's no rules, so just kiss already. The greatest football announcer show is worked by the Sheffield under 16 squad, aka the Sheffield Miners. Why does Vuji dress like he smokes crocodile? What the hell is crocodile? You should watch the documentary on crocodile. Is it like Crocodile's cousin or something? Nah, bruv, it's a drug which you inject and it's mad. Do you know it's, what? It's a Russia. It's like they inject steel in their body, basically, and metals. So they, but they're not like, not like Sheffield United vibes, like the a next thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not made from steel. They inject it so it makes their bones go crippled. I do not take Crocodile, but I find that very funny. We should do like a roast segment where they roast us. That so would hashtag be Hashtag roast. Um, just go, go for us. Kill us. Kill us. I, I want care. to be... Go hard as you can on me and Poet this, this week. Major pause. Why? Go as hard as you, go as hard as you can on Vooch <laughs> and just roast me. Man, like some Sunday dinner. It's but calm, to be fair, bro. I think I don't need that crocodile. I mean, I've got, an, uh, I've got a tattoo of an uh, arm. His you know, tattoo like, says arm. You know, like off white? Yeah, I know. Lit. Yeah. So I don't need no drugs. I've already lost the plot. Yeah? yeah. I think we've both lost the plot. Norwich against Arsenal. We're going to the football. Two to some comments that before we go into the game, Emery sacked, bad evening. The board's last message to you, Emery, hab a nice. <laughs> He's gone. How do you feel, Poet, about Emery leaving Arsenal? You feeling good, yeah? Oh, there you go, my There's friend. a video on my Instagram. It can pop up right now. Oh my gooners, send me your celebration videos, please. He's gone. Emery is gone. Gone. Good evening. I was really happy and I feel, I feel it, it, it needed to happen a long time it ago. It needed to happen, didn't it? Yeah. It's again like the Pochettino thing. These are not bad things. I don't think Emery's a terrible manager. Yeah, yeah. He goes to like UEFA meetings and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just not right for Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. But you, do you think Youngberg's a good no. signing? No. He's good looking. He it's is good it. looking because look, I'm just here waiting for Rude to say how paying Freddie Youngberg <laughs> is. And, and to my, be fair, Fab, I'd give him a solid 7 out of 10. But you know why I'm happy? He's on that DILF mode. Like a little, he's got like a little Dilf vibe about him. Basically, all, all the Vibber followers would know that now he's also finessing in Sweden. So essentially, I'm yeah. really happy. We are finessing in Sweden, Kaiser. I'm gassed. So for that reason there, I permit a sucker beside him. Big fucking German. This is, this is a family affair. But come May, it has to end. We, we can't go past May. Yeah? No, no, no. Bring in the real manager after Who's going to be the real manager? Who do you want? Klasford Sterling. Who? Klasford Sterling. From where? Broadwater Farm. He's one of the best coaches to ever come out of Broadwater Farm. Um, he's coached the likes of Raheem Nile Sterling's Ranger. Cousin. Raheem Sterling's second cousin's uncle. Uh, he also coached me, and we saw where that went. Nice. So, Classford Sterling. Classford Sterling. I'll give you Arsenal a picture. Manager. Classford Sterling needs to be the next Arsenal manager. So you are happy. Very... Arsenal fan TV is happy. This is mad. You guys They're not Arsenal. that happy, though, you know? They're not happy. No. Did you see, not see them? I think a lot of people will know. After the game, they weren't happy. But I'm just saying, one training session, one game. It's the first time in weeks we've had more shots 
than the opposition. Let's, well, let's go into the game. Well done, Freddy. Norwich 2 Arsenal 2. Todd Cannibal just casually surfing through the Arsenal defence. VR shot again. I was in the stadium with absolutely no idea what was going on. Oh, and Pookie just being Pookie. Cannibal once again having a nice against Arsenal. You know, the United didn't win, but I don't care. Why? Because I'm a fan on loan at Sheffield. No rules. Thanks, bro. I knew, I knew today I'd have to be careful knowing, knowing about the Arsenal, but no, nah, it was good, man. I appreciate the support. Love, brother. That, that was straight work. from Cantwell's voice note. Shout out to Todd Cantwell. I love him. Show him some love on the Instagram. Go Look, to Cantwell. Man. He's the under 25 of the week as well. Trying to do him. He's having a nice. He's always doing under 25 of the week. Yeah, he's the under 25 of the week. 100% agree. Cantwell is definitely under 25 yeah. of the week. You, Very good guy, man. But you said you're happy with the performance. No, I know I'm bad. Be. I was really happy when Cantwell scored. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone was like, what's wrong with me? I was like, it's Toddy doing it. Like, I was even upset when he missed the other one. I was like, oh, damn yeah. it. But the reason I was happy with the no performance is purely because of this. We know Mustafi's terrible. You guys defensively are, are incredibly mad. 21 shots against Southampton. Yeah. So I know this is bad, but I know what we were. 31 shots against Watford. So how many against Norwich? There wasn't even 10. So it's like they had good opportunities, but... Oh, look at this. Oh. Chicken gym box, thank you. I don't go to the gym, but if I eat that, it's like I go into the gym. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Chicken come gym on. box. But yeah, honestly, I don't expect a lot from Arsenal really and truly because it's an early training session, but there are signs of improvement and the players look happier. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you, that's a lot of food for What's your name? Kupila. Kupila. Kupila, David. Gangster. Who's going to win the league? What, gangster? <laughs> 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 nice, have a nice. Oh, so we're happy for Norwich though. But yeah. Pookie being Pookie. And I, I think you guys are poor though, like watching it. I know you... Nah, it's not that bad. <laughs> It's not, not that bad. Because I've seen what, Southampton. You don't get top four. We're not going to get top four. It's calm. You've accepted it. Yeah. I like that. It's cool. Lads. You've gone calm again. Just chill out. Freddie Jumbo's here. Take He's for the city in Sweden. Take <laughs> Just take TT. Slow wine, slow wine. It's not that bad, fam. We could have. Yesterday, if Emery's in charge, we lose. 100%. She said she want to have a good evening. She said she want to have a good evening. I know. But look, let's stop taking the piss out of man's evening. He's gone now. And good luck to Good him. luck to you, Emily. Hello, Arsenal fans. Let and us know what you think about <laughs> Arsenal, the position they're in, about Todd Cantwell. Go on his Instagram, leave some love. Hashtag love. United against Aston Villa, 2-2. Two, two. There's a lot about United when a 2-2 two, two draw with any promote Aston Villa isn't a bad result. United 2, Villa 2 is already the next on the chopping block. I don't think we need to speak about this too much because these are two teams that are struggling in the bottom half of the table. But... Jack Grealish, great goal. What a goal! And obviously Danny Ings, cousin Tara Mings, nice finish as well. And ran off and didn't even he celebrate, just didn't, didn't care. He battered that into the back of the net. Manchester United, you should be a little bit disappointed with this be. result. Oh, you got a soldier, 27% win rate. Even Emery had a 59% or 49% How is rate. is Oli Gunnar Solskjaer still there? But it's Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's taking mad risks. First mm. of all, let's take a look at some of the things he's doing well. Rashford's scoring goals now. He's mm. got like eight goals this season, eight, nine goals this season. And his name doesn't make sense because Oli is like Spanish. Yeah. And Gunnar is like an Arsenal fan. No, Gunnar is a rapper in the States. And the Gunnar's a rapper and yeah. he sold the Shires. Where did he sell the Shires? Scotland, Ireland. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a bit of a weird one. I still don't understand why you want to ration a Ford. Like Ford Focus, no one even drive that no more. Mm. And now you've got it's a, a rash rash decision to buy a Ford anyway. I think that word is mad. It's very rash. Well, as long as they're scoring. Especially a car. Oh. <laughs> have a nice. Oh, wonderful. Wordplay of the week. Well, look, we're going to move on because we have no, not much interest in that game. Where's there. Jesse Lingard? The hair well. needs to leave. Where's Pogba? Where is Jesse Where's Lingard? No, Pogba's cool. He can disappear. Everyone's forgotten. Where is Jesse Lingard? So Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's done a great job. We need a collab with him. I think, he, I think he's looking for a collab. And, and leave your comments about United as we move on to... Um, this game was really sick, though. The game was incredible. Leicester City against Everton. 2-1 in the actual last minute. The Leicester signs. Leicester 2 Everton 1. In the actual last minute of uh, Everton. Agony for Silver. If we're going to be consistent with the signs, then the, then the Foxes have been showing on quite a bit as well. Proper fucking club doing bits right now. What a game of football. You know when I look at them two sides? Personnel. You take Vardy out of the equation. They're not too dissimilar, you know? They're not. I don't understand why Everton are doing so bad. I think their gaffer is terrible. It is not good. Pickford in goal. England's number one. They don't know how to play. I don't know what it is, but you look at Leicester it's side full of confidence. Back. I know, but... I think it's a confidence thing. Gomez got his leg broken, I understand, but they've, Leicester have got... Everton, sorry, have got a good... Pass. And they've spent money. they spent bread! they spent a lot of bread. Hovis. Come on, they, man need to chip in. But Leicester, you kind of... It felt... They feel like a top four side. Mm -hmm. but they went 1-0 down, and mm -hmm. I said to myself, they're, they're going to win this. They're going to win. Leicester actually going to win. And Leicester quite easily won it. Mm. But that decision at the end... Was mm. the best VAR decision ever. 
ever. It's because of Ineacho. Because what Ineacho done was, was sick. Celebrated the first time. He celebrated. Didn't care. And then the second celebration. time. He done the same celebration mm. in front of the, mm. and I love all of that. But you know what it reminds me of? It's like when you have intercourse. Mm -hmm. First time's a bit slow. Second time you now, know, finish a bit quicker. Second time now, oh you are in there for time. I'm talking. Just and swimming. those celebrations lasted. They went and to the changing room with it. What's happened at the VR? It's a go. It was sick. Meant Sky Sports sick. fantastic coverage. The only thing Sky Sports you could have done. I want you to just picture in my head. Mm. If you showed a wide, a wide just shot. a wide shot, wide shot. of the, the bench with Brendan Rodgers and the bench with... It would have been mad because all you kept doing was cutting from one to the other. Show. Love, heartache. Love, Heart, heartache. Yeah. Show it together. Yeah. But look at this offside of the VR. Was that off? Because his arm's off. And how is it? And his head isn't off, but it looks like it could be off, but the knee... I don't know how they... I hope it is off. I, I hope it is off, isn't it? No I rules. off. Because I, I want to get rid of VAR. Even the VAR decision for the... Arsenal. I can't lie, I'm starting to like it now. It's I'm start story. after this. I'm starting to like VR. But no, it felt no, that was nice. I like Leicester, and I was happy for. But they're not the actual. signs. They're not the signs yet because Liverpool are reserving. I'm Liverpool honest, are reserving the signs. These men are playing no European football. You give these men at Leicester City a little trip to Azerbaijan. They won't be playing like this. Would they? Would they not? But I love the way they're play, playing football. Love it. It feels good. I leave your Leicester City comments. It's a vibe. Well, they are. But all the men them at Everton. What's going on? Give us a, can you drop a comment, Everton fans? Let me know what is going on at your club. You've got some decent personnel, but it's just not working. Mm. The NI number I is agree. not working. The NI number is in your drawer. You've forgotten it. You yeah. can't get a job. It's just not working, yeah. either. They need some national insurance. <laughs> <laughs> they need some national insurance. Well, look, let us know about Leicester, but we move on to mm. Liverpool against Brighton and the title race, Newcastle against Man City. <laughs> no one, De Bruyne, Kevin, no one. Shelby, John Joe, and obviously Liverpool 2 on Brian. Liverpool are going to break the record for the most 2 1 wins in a season. No need for clean sheets. Do you, how often do you guys change your bed sheets? Mine are like once in a good while. Pardon. How about you? Like what, at the end of the week. Sometimes. Once a week? What, twice or three times in a week, yeah. Depends how, on how, how much. Goes, how, how much do you change your bed sheets? Every other week. Every other week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My bed's getting active recently, so I can't uh, really be there. Like, you get me? The porn is mad. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Do you, you just bust on your bed sheets? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's rank. The bed's uh, big, but that's <laughs> rank. Liverpool, it just feels like it's going to happen, isn't it? Fam, no one can stop them. No one can stop them. No one. Even Newcastle said, you know what? I'm going to get the involved. Way, I can't believe it. John Joe Shelby. That game was amazing. The master of the ceremonies. That it was game. a brilliant game. Brilliant game. That the, game. The goal from De Bruyne. And then Shelby as well for the equaliser. I kind of wish. The Bruyne scored after Shelby mm. because that goal should have ended the game. Nah, but yeah, true, true, true. I guess. Shelby's, it's, it's a Shelby's goal. wrapped it. He's, he's oh, beautiful. beautiful goal. You see, man, like Kevin. Mm. He looked like he saw someone he didn't like. Incredible though. Bulleting. Man City. I don't really say they're favourites. They're favourites. Mm. Newcastle have taken points off them now. They have a tougher run in. Liverpool obviously no Allison for the next couple of games, but I'm not so even worried. They got he the had West no Ham. Allison at the start. Exactly. I know Fabinho, so but quite comfortable against Brighton. We had no Fabinho last season. We can't really defend, but we're just winning. Every week's a win. Bro, it's not even that you can't really defend. I feel pretty good about it. Everyone's just trying to have a good time. And sometimes, <laughs> Van Dijk becomes a striker, mm. and Lewis Dunk becomes an absolute David Beckham. Yeah. Everyone's trying to have a good time, but the most important thing is three points. And you got that. We got the three points. But look, one player I need to just mention, I know mm -hmm. he's in Leicester City, is Soyonchu. The guy that looks like he's from Lord of the Rings. No, he looks like Joker. And he's got the hair. No, he looks like Joker. Exactly like Joker. I love Soyuncu. I would love Soyuncu mm. and Van Dyke. I predict in my crystal ball. A little the thing is, no, no, everyone does him. this. Everyone does I've this stuff Soyuncu. where they have a bit of a wank. It's really early. It's December. Leicester City have been incredible. Yeah, but Don't you have to make predictions. Wrong. Football show. Yeah, but like I said, no you've watched enough football in the past to know that let's that give I them like a better time. <laughs> a year and a bit ago, Arsenal did absolutely play Leicester City off the park, beat them 3-1. Mm. And a year and a bit later, of a new manager and what, one additional personnel, Leicester are this great team. I'm like, give it some time. Yeah, but I like Suyuncu. We'll see. I'm saying I like Suyuncu. Oh, Suyuncu, he's great. That's what I mean. Leicester, oh. whatever. I want Suyuncu. Like Van Dijk, I knew he was great. I think we all knew he was yeah, great. Incredible. He had so many seasons. Suyuncu's I given me... I predict Suyuncu's the man. Yeah? That's my prediction. 
Mm. Let's see. Let me know about Su Yun Shu. Like and obviously it. the title race. I just feel the signs are there. No one even left a comment the signs. Someone said I should trademark them, but you can't trademark the signs. They're just happening. Liverpool, champions of England 2020. Yeah, it's wonderful to see. It feels good. I really want it to happen, you know. It's happened. So they're the top six. No, but it has happened. Oh, fair enough. Liverpool have won the league. Oh, cool. It's incredible. Did you go to the parade? Yeah, for, I, don't, I didn't go to the parade. I think we are, no, 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 I just kept the calm. Yeah, just yeah. cut through and just yeah, I could just thing. take a stroll at home. I just, that's it, around you the You made your own parade? Made my own parade in my room. Just walked around in a circle. Oh, lit, lit a flare. It was lit. <laughs> Liverpool have won the league, which is great. So let us know, obviously, how you think the title race is going to go. Um, but football has been very mad this week. Yeah. Um, Tottenham Paul beating Bournemouth 3-2. And Ryan says, honestly, it's good to have Jose back in the Prem. And Jordan shouting out the ball boy. And Jose bringing the ball boy into the changing Come room. On, man. Bringing him to have better food with the players. You see, Jose, I hate that I love him. Mm. I love everything about Jose Mourinho. Before, no, no, get me wrong. Before, when I was like more tribally involved in football, mm. and I was only like, yeah, Liverpool. Liverpool, I used to hate Jose. Because obviously, I used to get on my tits. you don't used to have crud. Yeah, but now, I love Jose Mourinho. Like I celebrated Todd Cantwell's goal. I, just, I love there's just football. Man, I, We're having a nice, we're having a good time. This man that I just love, I can't help it. Exactly. Who's this one it. of those guys? I can't help it. And it shows, I think, going 3 0 up, of course, they conceded a couple goals. Yeah. They're going to get top four. I know this. Tottenham are going to get top four. So, so scored a volley. I think Chelsea are going to dip out. If, Chelsea, if Tottenham come out of Europe and all that, I'm scared for Leicester and Chelsea. Mm. I'm scared for them because it's like everything is the way it is right now, but the tide will turn. Everyone has their time. I love the way they're playing. It's like they're playing with four up front. They don't they're care. They're so no. direct. Deli Ali don't care. It's brilliant. It, fam, yeah. Deli Ali just come back. Mar like you told me what Mourinho said to him. Are you Deli Ali or his brother? Right now, big man. Mm, Deli Ali's Deli going Ali. crazy. Put him on TV. Deli Ali, mud. He's got what? Two L's and two L's in his name. Yeah. Two L's together. Is a love. Shout out to Abba and Preach on YouTube. A guy did it. He said two L's. Delhi, Ali. Well, have you ever met an Ali with two L's? No. I haven't. Ever. I only know Ali's with one L. I don't even like going up Ali's. You saying. see how dangerous they are. Bournemouth, ask them. It is mad. Well done, Spurs, though. Man. Well done, Good Spurs. Win. This has actually been a football analysis show. We're actually talking yeah. football. Because we're in German Donna Kebab. It just feels so right. So now we talk about football. When it we just go, feels right. When we get back out on the roads, mm, yeah. mad anything goes. But right here, keep it calm. Oh, come on. They could chip it. You want to well, look, that? top 14. No, no, I'll give it a second. Top 14, though. West Ham beating Chelsea 1 0. Okay. And shout out to Martin in goal. Oh, God. Martin in goal, man. He played cold. He played cold, bro. Chris Martin, or whatever his name is, Kelly Martin. Justin Timberlake, he cried me a river at the end. See if and that I one. wanted to hug him. Yeah. This is why I love football. I can't help but love the. I did, you have I to love him. I slid in his DMs after the game. He went to cry and it hugged the man I in the slid crowd. In the DM. I love him. I love Chris Martin. I love him. And Aaron Crosser with the goal. Wasn't it show you though? I think it shows inexperience from Chelsea side. But I did They're say young, that. they're under 25s. And I always question the ability of the squad. Tammy Abraham gets injured, Giroud's up front. It's not the same thing. They're depending on Tammy. The under 25s are lit. The under 25s are taking over fully. Have Chelsea got the squad? We'll find that in time. Losing to West Ham at home when they're on such a poor run, it's a massive L. But Chris Martin, what a keeper. That triple save he makes, goes up and cries on his debut. Oh, it's beautiful. It's it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It's beautiful. We have to look. I like the way the coverage is. Round of kebab coverage. for him. Round of Round kebab. Off. Let us know. Chelsea comments, West Ham comments. As we go to the over 35s. And a guy said, you always mention under 25s, but not giving the under over 35s no love. The beast Adam Bayo I can confirm has six goals and four assists this season. More than anyone else in League One. Wicked Wonder was sitting on top of the league. Well, me and Vuj would like to tell you, we actually have a little combo with him coming up very soon. Very soon. So, how about that? How about that? Yeah, about you can tell us face to face in the living room. We haven't been in the living room for a while, mm. but we'll be back. Arnold Schwartz and Negative. People were just talking about back offs, you know. And famous Moses said, so no more back off talks. So I said, why don't we talk a little bit about back-offs? Um, Siddle says, what the fuck is a back-off? Well, if you're from London, or we'll speak London slang, Londonish, Londonistan, a back-off is the bum. So how back, so you're back and then the off. You know I'm saying? That's the bum part. So when you used to be younger, looking at bums, you'd go like, oh, she's got a back-off. If it's a prominent, like Kim K has, you know. But obviously, I've grown up and matured. I don't use it as much, but now I look at players' back ups. <laughs> but Henry says, I'd love to see Vuj twerk. I'm going to have to pass on that. 
like a bit like Zabby, mate. I don't, I don't feel it. I'm saying that. Like, it's just. <laughs> it's, it's, <sighs> all right, there you go. I thought off. Here was me checking Alexis's um, back off before. Oh, for Christ's sake. I just had a grey wig on. As you can see, I was enjoying myself. And then uh, Murray says, uh, can we get a back off check for where Regis and Alexis football's biggest back off? And we have to give that to Branislav Vanovic. Branislav back off Vanovic. Look at it, bro. No, back off is crazy. Paul, look at man's mum. <gasps> oh, I just don't want to Oh, wait, look at it here. I've looked. It is plump like a cherry. Look at here where he's lying down. I looked. It's incredible, isn't it? No. Shorts are tight. He's wearing XL shorts and now he's back off. Vish, what's going on? Well, someone's asked to do it, so I've done it. Asked to do it, haven't it? They have asked, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there you go, have it. A bit of a back off section. The greatest football uh, back off definitely is Branislav Ivanovic. And we have a lot of podcasts lined up. <laughs> yes, we've got a lot and of we stuff. We might be going up. to the Qatar Club World Cup. Which is going to be cool. I'm actually hungry. Shout out to Germans on the kebab. We actually might film outside next week because yeah. I like people walking past. Mm. But yeah, bro. See you soon. Have a nice and. Um, May the back off be with you. All right. Sorry, we're back. We're back. We just had to, we forgot about Euro trash. Euro trash, Euro groups. But there's one group which is banging, and it's this one. All right, look at this. France, Germany, Portugal. Wow. And that's either we're going to have Iceland in it, or I'm not sure what other teams are in the playoff. But that is the group of death by far. You've got England with Czech Republic, Croatia. This is mad though. Are... That, if Serbia make it through, they'll be there. Oh my God. And England's group. Derby. It'll be a derby against Croatia. Balkan derby in Glasgow. And then we'd play England in Wembley. Imagine. The Euros just heated up. But at the same time, I kind of want Scotland, so they can play England in England. Leave a comment, let us know what you uh, think about, you know, the Euros groups. I didn't realise it was this late. Uh, Obviously Sweden, we've got Spain, we've got Poland. And the group of death is mad. The group of death is crazy. So where's Poland? Poland, Ooh, Spain, Spain, Sweden. Sweden. We're going to try and tough. finesse over there. It's going to be very, very difficult. Leave comments about that. Some of the football in and around Europe. Uh, Bayern Munich losing again at home to Bayer mm. Leverkusen. Loads of talk about Pochettino going over there. Yeah. Atletico Madrid versus Barcelona. 1-0 mm. win for Barcelona. Mm. Was rating mm. that as well. Mm. Uh, Martinez scoring again for Inter Milan. They look like they're actually going to win the league to me. Mm. Over Juventus, they look very dangerous. Martinez and Lukaku up front. The football has been going crazy across Europe. Make sure you leave in comments all about all Definitely. of the things happening over Europe as well. Hey, we gotta go now. We gotta go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Have a nice. <laughs> I feel like I ran off with that episode. Did you? My mind ran off. Yes, right. There's no rules. I ran off. Okay. <laughs> oh, right. Anyway, man, I nice. go. See you next week. <laughs>